Good evening and welcome to our service of evening prayer for Saturday, the 10th of October. We begin with our service of light, so I will light our candle. Light and peace in Jesus Christ our Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus Christ is the light of the world, a light no darkness can extinguish. And uh, we're going to do our new uh, Hymn to the Light again. We'll do it a few times till we kind of have got it learned. Uh, so it's number 15, Light of the World in Grace and Beauty. Light of the world in grace and beauty, mirror of God's eternal face, transparent flame of love's free duty, you bring salvation to our race. Now as we see the lights of evening, we raise our voice in hymns of praise. Worthy are you of endless blessing, Son of our night, lamp of our days. And our psalm is Psalm 104, verses 1 to 16, which we say together. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord my God, you are very great. You are clothed with honor and majesty, wrapped in light as with a garment. You stretch out the heavens like a tent. You set the beams of your chambers on the waters. You make the clouds your chariot. You ride on the wings of the wind. You make the winds your messengers, fire and flame your ministers. You set the earth on its foundations so that it, sh it shall never be shaken. You cover it with the deep as with a garment. The waters stood above the mountains. At your rebuke, they flee. At the sound of your thunder, they take to flight. They rose up to the mountains, ran down to the valleys, to the place that you appointed for them. You set a boundary that they may not pass, so that they might not again cover the earth. You make springs gush forth in the valleys. They flow between the hills, giving drink to every wild animal. The wild asses quench their thirst, by the streams, the birds of the air have their habitation. They sing among the branches. From your lofty abode, you water the mountains. The earth is satisfied with the fruit of your work. You cause the grass to grow for the cattle and plants for people to use, to bring forth food from the earth and wine to gladden the human heart, oil to make the face shine and bread to strengthen the human heart. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And now let us sing our hymn, God Whose Almighty Word. God whose almighty word, chaos and darkness heard, and took their flight. Hear us, we humbly pray, and where the gospel day sheds not its glorious ray, let there be light. Saviour who came to bring on your redeeming wing, healing and sight, Health to the sick in mind, sight to the inward blind. Now to all humankind, let there be light. Spirit of truth and love, life-giving holy dove, speed on your flight. Move on the water space, bearing the lamp of grace, and in earth's darkest place, let there be light. Holy and blessed Three, glorious Trinity, wisdom, love, might, 
Boundless as ocean's tide, rolling in fullest pride, through the world far and wide, let there be light. And our gospel is Luke 8, 16 to 25, the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Luke. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. No one, after lighting a lamp, hides it under a jar or pushes it under a bed, but puts it on a lampstand so that those who enter may see the light. For nothing is hidden that will not be disclosed, nor is anything secret that will not become known and come to light. Then pay attention to how you listen. For to those who have, more will be given. And from those who do not have, even what they seem to have will be taken away. Then his mother and his brothers came to him, but they could not reach him because of the crowd. And he was told, Your mother and your brothers are standing outside waiting to see you. But he said to them, My mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and do it. One day he got into a boat with his disciples, and he said to them, Let us go across to the other side of the lake. So they put out, and while they were sailing, he fell asleep. A gale swept down on the lake, and the boat was filling with water, and they were in danger. They went to him and woke him up, shouting, Master, Master, we are perishing. And he woke up and rebuked the wind and the raging waves. They ceased, and there was a calm. He said to them, Where is your faith? They were afraid and amazed, and said to one another, Who then is this, that he commands even the winds and the water? and they obey him. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So when Jesus is talking about putting the lamp uh, on a lampstand and not under a bushel barrel, or even worse, under the bed, I'm sure you'd set your bed on fire. Um, Jesus is talking about how if we're just sitting here listening and never doing what we hear, then that's like putting our lamp, hiding our lamp. If we know this wonderful truth about the, the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ, and we're only keeping it to ourselves, then we're just basically hiding this wonderful knowledge. And it's meant to shine. It's meant to shine to others. Um, so when Jesus, when his mother and brothers are coming to see him, and, and Jesus says, his mother and his brother are those who hear the word of God and do it. So Jesus is very much for getting our lives integrated together so that what we hear and believe about Christ, we actually practice in our lives. And that is one of the things about Jesus' ministry. He, he didn't say, listen to me, just listen to me and be a disciple. He said, go and do what I do. It wasn't just about coming to Jesus and seeing this wonderful person and Jesus solving all of our problems. Instead, it's listen to what I say, be a disciple, but then go, be an apostle, go and do what I do. So it's very important for us to get what our beliefs and our faith is in sync with what our actions are in our lives. And now we will sing together Laudate Omnes Gentes. Laudate omnes gentes, laudate dominum, 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 laudate omnes gentes, laudate Dominum. And let us say together the Hero Israel. Hero Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first and the great commandment. The second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. In our prayers today, when I say, Lord, in your mercy, please respond with, hear our prayer. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. For the peace of the whole world, Lord, in your mercy, 
hear our prayer. For those who are weary, sleepless, and depressed, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who are hungry, sick, and frightened, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For rest and refreshment, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Amen. In our prayers for the sick today, we pray especially for Jane Ross, Doug McDonald, Jane Gottke, Jeff Smith, Bernice Peterson, Melanie and family, Cheryl Clark, Allie, Lynn Aitkins, Jane, Eileen Spidel, Pat and Les Matthews, Dana Moran, Betty Goodchild, Jim Glass, Bill Crandall, Ahmad Massey, Judy Graham, and Wayne Gregor. We pray for, and for also Mary Lynn Abraham. We give thanks for them and we pray, O oh Lord, for your healing touch in their lives and wholeness of being in body, mind, and spirit. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for those who have died and especially those who are mourning their loss of their loved one. Today we pray in memory of Donna Adamson and we pray for her family and friends and all who mourn their loss. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for our refugee family in Beirut, Mohammed, Karima, Fatin, and Ahmed. And we pray, O oh Lord, for their family, which is here waiting for them. We pray, O oh Lord, for them as they continue to try to make decisions as best they can for their family and for their future. Bless them in all that they do. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for 10 more families uh, on our parish list. Today we pray for uh, David Riddles and Janice Holden, for Joan Reimer, for Jane Robbins, for Deborah Jean Roberts, for Gary, Eleanor, and Neil Roberts, for William Robertson, for Jeff, Lindsay, Colton, and Everett Robson, for Ronald and Shirley Rodwell, for Nancy Rogers, and for Wendy and Brendan Rogers. We pray, O oh Lord, that they might all know they belong to a community which prays and cares for them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In the Anglican cycle of prayer today, we pray for the Diocese of Port Moresby in Papua New Guinea and the Right Reverend Denny Bray Guka, their bishop, the Diocese of Columbia and the Episcopal Church and the Right Reverend Francisco Duque, and the Diocese of Kolam Kotarakara in South India and the Right Reverend Dr. Uman George. We pray, giving thanks that we belong to a worldwide communion of faith. We pray that we might support our brothers and sisters worldwide in ways that we can. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And praying our prayer from New Zealand for night. Lord, it is night. The night is for stillness. Let us be still in the presence of God. It is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done. Let it be. The night is dark. Let our fears of the darkness of the world and of our own lives rest in you. The night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace enfold us, all dear to us, and all who have no peace. The night heralds the dawn. Let us look expectantly to a new day, new joys, new possibilities. In your name we pray. Amen. We pray the collect for this week. Almighty and everlasting God, you are always more ready to hear than we to pray and to give more than we either desire or deserve. Pour upon us the abundance of your mercy, forgiving us those things of which our conscience is afraid and giving us those good things for which we are not worthy to ask, except through the merits and mediation of Jesus Christ, our Savior, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, 
Let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And we will conclude with our evening hymn, Bonum est confidere. Bonum est confidere in Domino, Bonum sperare in Domino. Bonum est confidere in Domino, Bonum sperare in Domino. Bonum est confidere in Domino, Bonum sperare in Domino. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining us uh, this evening. Uh, of course, tomorrow is Sunday. It's also Thanksgiving. Um, we, we decided that we were going to hold off on reopening the church for in-person worship. So please do join our online worship. But we are offering uh, so online worship at, worship at nine, we are offering uh, a drive-through uh, walk-up uh, home communion, or er, er, communion. Um, just come to the front of the parish hall, come up, receive communion, go home again, and then hopefully join us for our Zoom coffee hour following that. So um, online service at nine, come anytime between 10 and 10.30, don't all come at once, um, to receive communion if you want it. And then return home and hopefully at 11 o'clock join us for our Zoom coffee hour. And of course, we'll have evening prayers every night except for Friday. Good night.